time to make the great design is capturing the spirit of people living in the house and assets in the space, isn't it? A very warm welcome to the Prop Guides beautiful home series with me, Natasha. And this time we're meeting Meghna Mechandani, the young and popular interior designer who owns this firm called Dimensions and who resides in the heart of South Delhi. So let's take a quick tour and meet her and also take some quick tips for our homes too. Hi Meghna. Hi, how are you? Welcome to the Prop Guide beautiful home series. Thank you so much. Meghna, you have such a beautiful house in the heart of South Delhi. When did you buy this house? See, this house is built in 1976. Oh. It's owned by my father-in-law and his brother. Okay. We've renovated it in about 2007 again. Oh. So what you see now has been done in 2007. What is your signature style? See, I primarily do straight line interiors. Okay. Whereas my signature style is backlit panels. Where you're sitting, there's a tree behind you. Okay. This is just uh, this is something I did about seven years ago. This is a panel which is cut in wood. Now I work with steel, with Korean, with various materials. You cut a pattern out and you backlit it. So it's really dramatic. This is basically in any house, any bedroom. I do try and incorporate it a little bit. But it's our thought process, thinking from the client's perspective. Because it's their home. So we can, I can give the inputs in terms of te technically, what will look good, ambient-wise. But eventually they have to use the house. So we always work with the client. So it's always a joint effort. Meghna, there are so many different kind of customers. How do you meet different customer needs and their uh, style, their persona is so different? How do you exactly meet them? A very good question. See, in interiors, we work with people. Now, they could be homes where we're working with the lady of the house. And it's just not used by her. It's used by an entire family, the husband, the children, the in-laws. So you have to work in conjunction with all their thought process, all their requirements and yet have a aesthetically a pretty home. When we work in offices, it's the number of people that are going to be using the office, the kind of visitors that are coming to the office. So different kind of uh, projects that we do, it's based on different requirements and different client image also. Some people want their house to be really blingy, some people like it very simple. So we work with, it's a different look. I always recommend for a house, it needs to be practical and maintenance free. So when we are designing a house for day to day use, it has to be like the corners should be simple, no, not too much of glass if it's, a, if it's got children in the house. So it has to be designed in a very simple manner, then you accessorize it. Now when we have Diwali coming around the corner, we want to use candles, we want to use flowers. So different, different elements, rangolis, little, little things, so you make your I clearly believe I can make a house, but the lady of the house or whoever is using it has to make it into a home by adding character to it, by adding pieces, so it looks more pretty than what we've given it to them. Okay, and how often uh, you renovate your house, like any room or, or the full house? It's a constant upkeep. See, any house which has been used by family members, there's going to be wear and tear. There will be finger marks on the walls, the upholstery will get stained. So depending on the, the kind of usage you have, whether it's rough tough, and a, so for me, the house has to be a home. I'm not going to tell my daughter, don't sit here, don't do that. She has to use the house. If it gets dirty, yes, I will maintain it. But a home has to be comfortable for everybody. You shouldn't be uptight and nervous about using your own house. So I believe in a lot of comfort and practicality comes in first in any kind of interiors. So what is the good way of using, you know, of use, uh, to use lights? See, lighting is always uh, three kinds. One is a natural light that comes in through your windows. So primarily when I'm planning a room, I always plan for big windows because a natural light gives the best effect to any room. But on the other hand, when we have a party, you need ni nice window, dress uh, window dressings on the window. So you need to plan those accordingly. Then lighting in this room is all LED lit. It's all on dimmers. So right now it's on a little bright mode. At night when we have a party with our friends, we have soft music playing, we dim the lights. So it gives a different ambience. Okay. In my bar, what you've seen, I've run a little LED panel which is right now on a red color. Okay. And the color changes of that. Oh, wow. can so, you show us that? Yes, I can. <laughs> so it's different moods. So talking about the lighting, uh, Natasha here, I've yeah. used it in blue. You can make it into green, orange. So this is just for a demo, I set it up. You can even put it inside a panel behind a room, like a backlit panel behind a bed. So you want to change the ambience, you put it to a green, a pink. 
It's the effort you put in. Little little things can make a make a house look prettier. So Meghna, what are the other elements uh, in the house? If you can just explain that. See, when you hire us, like an interior designer, we look at all aspects of a home. A home primarily is all things at eye level. That is your curtains. That includes your upholsteries. Could be your wall finishes. Could be wallpapers, texture paints. So when you hire someone like us, we'll give you a. We we'll give you various things, options that are available in the market. Then it's up to the client, and depending on their budget and choice. Meghna, people's perception is that you know when designers come in, what exactly they uh, value add because there are so many magazines these days. We know the plus and minus of every situation. When you see a fabric, we buy it and we use it. Every fabric also has a plus and a minus. Now, if I use a silk in a drawing room, it will shrink the first time I use it. So an expert like me can tell you, okay, use a poly silk. If you're using a silk, please dry clean it. Please have embroidery done, which is because India has a lot of dust. So whatever I would recommend to you, I would recommend keeping in mind the practicality. And I've learned with your mistakes. We also recommend certain things. Could be a new product that has come out. We've used it; it's not worked for a client. There's been a complaint. So we designers are working with different materials that are available. So I would not say that we are better at it, but yes, we've worked with a. Worked with more material, so we kind of learn more than a normal client. Yes, they are. There's there very good magazines available. There are a lot of ladies who completely know. Okay, this is the bed I want. This is the look I want. But again, we work together, work on the pattern they've given us, and make it look better than what they expected. And of course, it's not. I would not just take something and copy it. I would, you know, if if, if it's a simple bed, we will add storage to it. The bedside drawers would have storage for their medicines. Put a nice lamp. So again, work with the pattern and make it better. So, Meghna, which is your favorite corner in this house? So, if you look at this, is our drawing room. Okay. The, one of the favorite corners that we have here that we use a lot during parties is a little sit out that we have in the area. Oh. So, this is a little sit out area that we have, which we use when we have a dinner. Yeah. Or even in the evenings, we have a little like a small barbecue here. So, we use it. We all sit around it. I'll show you the another favorite corner of mine. Now talking about this area, this is uh, we are basically three couples. My father-in-law and he has three children. Okay. So this dining was planned that he should sit with all his children and his grandchildren here. So we eight of us sit here and two chairs are added for both the granddaughters. Okay. So this table was primarily planned that we all eat together on Diwali. We all eat together. We do the puja together. Okay. Here we have a buffet. So when we're normally eating, it's uh, yeah. everybody was passing food around. So when I redesigned the house, I planned a fairly a large buffet. So here we can I lay the main course here. We have a little stack corner there. Okay. So the whole house has been planned as per the house people's requirement. Here, if you see on the wall, I had I was telling you earlier these panels I had got about five years before we renovated the house. Mm -hmm. So when we planned the drawing room, then I planned a wall for it, put a little lighting in it, and glamorized it a bit. Then again, the statue that's next to it is part of the same series. It's a couple, loving couple, and they, these are the dancing couple. So the whole dining area is kind of around it. If you see even these smaller statues that I have, the light, it's all from the same lava collection. So these are all pieces that I kept picking up little by little to finally achieve at this look. So whenever you're doing up a home or any kind of space, plan a look, and then you work around it. Like a sitting area is around the tree. It's called the tree of light. So all the entire seating is plain, planned around that. I put a little Buddha because when uh, Lord Buddha did his, he sat under a tree and meditated. So it was inspiration from that that I took. So I planned this tree. I have placed a Buddha out here. So little little things. Sure. Come, I'll take you to my room. Now this is a passage. I wanted this passage to be little interesting. So these are all uh, my ancestral wall, which has my father-in-law with all his siblings, wow. his grandparents. This is my. My husband with his siblings, so I just created a little corner. It's a passage to make it look more interesting. So you can use something like this. You can use a wallpaper. You can put mirror. So passages also can be made interesting. This is our bedroom. I've taken a small sitting here. So when we are eating or nibbling, we kind of sit here. This is one of my favorite places. I spend a lot of time here. So we did. I read a book, or could be a magazine. It's more magazines. I'll be very honest. Not a book. <laughs> So I'm reading my magazine, watching my television. Okay. So this happens here. Then we have a little study table. Okay. This is my uh, little. Uh, this is my parents. So I have their picture. I have a little makeup corner. So I've done a little pattern mirror. So that adds a little element to the room. So again, this is one of my pieces that I use a lot. This is just like a cubic piece. I, I work with circles, triangles. So mirrors also does not mean just you just put a plain simple mirror. Right. In this case, I work with different squares and rectangles. 
So little little features is to make it look normally a console will just have a right. basic mirror. So here we work with a little funky mirror yes. to add a little character to it. Sure. So this is just a little chest which kind of looks has a few bare necessities. And this is our study. Now our TV is on a swivel. Okay. So when we are watching TV, we want to sit on a sofa. But when all of us like to watch TV from the bed as well, so it's on a swivel base. So it works well from the sitting as well as the bedroom area. As I told you earlier, this is one of my favorite places in our bedroom. So we sit here. My husband, when he comes from work, he'll sit here. I'll sit here. My daughter will be here. We snack, snack here. So it's a little sitting. You can create in any room. The space permitted a seating for three. I've accommodated that. Lovely. Thank you so much, Meghna, for being in our show. You're most welcome. Rob Guide's beautiful home city. Thank and you I'm so much, sure Natasha. Our viewers would love your tips and your home. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you so much again. Being classy and elegance is Meghna's style, and I'm sure we all loved it, isn't it? Well, stay connected and keep watching Prop Guide's beautiful home series with me, Natasha, signing off.